What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the NX optimizer running in any of your emulators that you're using. Uh, it is formerly known as a TOTK optimizer. I think they switched the name because they are coming out with more games that are using it, such as, you know, Breath of the Wild, Echoes of Wisdom, Link's Awakening, which is in beta right now, and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You can also click on some of them. It'll give you some information. Oh, it's giving me a 404. I don't know why that's happening. <laughs> Let's go to Scarlet and Violet. There we go. So, you know, it's just telling you what the stuff's going to do when you install like smoother gameplay, 60 plus frames per second. That's for Scarlet and Violet, which might need it. Let's go ahead and get into it. By the way, all these links will be in the description below. So once you come here to nxoptimizer.com, you can hit download. Sorry for the flashbang. It's gonna bring you to this page. Here's a bunch of uh, information. Scroll down a little bit, give you a little bit of idea where to set your settings at, which I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute for your resolution. I did test this at 6K, it does run. Mine's a little bit above for VRAM and my uh, GPU, but I was getting between 70 and 80, sometime in the high 60 frames per second. So if you got something a little bit higher than me, you'd probably run it no problem. But me, I set it at 4K and it's around 90 frames. It dips a little bit. But uh, once you're done looking at all the info, if you want to look at it, just scroll back up where it says NX Optimizer right here. Sorry, it's highlighting it all. Just click that and then go ahead and download the nx.optimizer.3.1.6exe. And once you uh, hit the button to download, it'll just save it to wherever you want to download. Okay, so once you get it downloaded, you'll see that's nx.optimizer. Go ahead and load up any emulator you're using, which I'm using Citroen. This will work for Ryu Jinx and Yuzu. Go ahead and right click on one of the games. Go to open mod data location. And once that is loaded up, you'll just select the NX optimizer from your downloads, drag and drop into the mod folder that just loaded up. Okay, and once you got it loaded up, hit the NX optimizer. Let the program load up. So once that's opened up, come up here where it says select executable, select that. Go to wherever your executable is for Yuzu, Citroen, or Ryu Jinx. Select it and then open and that will select the exe file that's how it will know where to set all this stuff to because if you do not do it none of this will work so what you're going to want to do now is set what your frames per second you want it to be capped at the reason why you're going to want to cap it is because it's going to fluctuate a lot because tears of the kingdom is pretty poorly optimized i would say poorly optimized it just can barely run on the switch itself so it's going to be emulating that obviously but this will smooth it out but it's still going to have a lot of dips so to get it running smoother you'll want to see where it kind of sits at and you know around in between so you don't get a lot of stuttering so for me i set it at 90 the menu I just set at 60. You could put it a little bit lower. It doesn't really matter. It's just the menu. That's just my opinion. You could set your field of view if you want. And then this is your resolution. Depending on your hardware, you can go a little bit lower, obviously. And then for shadows, I bump it up to 1536. Render distance, I keep at uh, default. And over here, Tears of the Kingdom, under this little section over here. Myself, I remove depth of field, quality improvements. So I think that was unselected. I select that. And then if you want to improve fog or remove lens flare, you can select them too. But the remove fog or improve fog, I don't select that because I'm using a mod to remove it. But once you get these set up, hit uh, apply and it will automatically apply. I'll set, move this over so you guys can see. It does some stuff over here and then once it's done, you just hit X right there. You go into advanced. I do the free free cam speed. I it didn't take for some reason, but you can mess with that. It usually helps. Hit apply. If you want to do cheats, you can just make sure down here where it says apply cheats next to it. Select whatever version you are running. Because if you're running uh say 1.2.1, it'll have different cheats. I'll actually show you. See the cheats changed. And if I go back. Looks like I added some more, but they won't work for you. So whatever version you're running, make sure that's selected. Check any ones that you want to use. Apply cheats. So after you do all that, you will get the this file right here, the TOTK optimizer, the super log, the nxoptimizer.exe.temp, the logger. You'll get the cheat manager patch if you're using cheats. And then the three exclamation TOTK optimizer folder. That will be all be put in your mod folder. And then you can see that it's also been added to the, the mod folder here under properties. All right, guys, we're here in the game. See, we're running at 4K native. It's 
bouncing in the 70s. It's going to do that it's, after you load in a game. It'll continuously build shoulder. Um, <laughs> I can't talk today, guys. It'll continuously build shader, so it might stutter here and there. When that, when that starts building, um, it might dip a little bit. But once you start playing, it should even it out. This is why I usually cap it at uh, 90, is because if you don't cap it, I think my computer is running it around like 110, maybe 120. 120 frames is I think the max for the optimizer to allow it to go but with it dipping all the way down to you know the 70s 80s and 90s you get a lot more stuttering and jittering so I kept it at 90 and it's pretty smooth for the most part but how you get the optimizer running if you guys need any help drop it down below and we'll see you in the next one